turn on your robot and the controls are not functioning properly, the first thing to always try is to shut everything down for about 30 seconds and then turn it back on again. It's possible that whenever the remote connects to the robot, there was a communication error and that is why it's not controlling properly and turning everything off and waiting 30 seconds before turning it back on will usually reset that problem and it will go away. If you turn on your robot and your remote and you find that the screen is still black, it's possible that it was accidentally put into the wrong mode. Ensure that the screen is turned on, the light will be green here, and that your robot is running and turned on. You can see that the camera is blinking a fast blue to indicate no SD card is inserted. And we'll press the second button here from the right with the return arrow. That will change our mode back to RF, which is where we want to be for video to be streaming from the robot to the remote. If you turn on your robot and remote to see something like you see on the screen now, it's very likely that the channel or band has accidentally been changed. The band and channel is displayed in the upper left hand corner. Right now it says band R channel 4. We want to be in band R but we want to be in channel 3. So we can hit the channel button. It will pop up and show us where we are. And then we can change the channels until we get back to channel 3 and our video comes back. If the band was changed, then we will need to hit the channel button once more so that it activates the channel mode and then hit the band button. And this will start cycling through the different bands. Again, we want to be in band R, channel 3. If you hit the band button before the channel button, it will activate the volume mode. If that happens, either wait for the volume screen to go away or tap the return button. Then hit the channel button once more and then hit the band button to change the band. Okay. To remove the camera, we simply need to pull the case away from the camera sides. There's two little tabs. We can ease them out of this slot that runs down the side of the camera and then twist the camera up and away. And then you can simply turn the camera over and shake the SD card back out. To reinstall the camera, we're just gonna line that slot back up with these two tabs. Make sure that we're back up against the back of the case. And then we're going to push down on the other side of the camera until we hear it lock into place. Inside the Pelican case, behind the foam on the lid is a bag that says for troubleshooting only. Inside of that bag is a battery for the camera, a charging cable for that battery, the rear cover for the battery on the camera, a replacement lens protector, a bind switch for your remote control, and some spare screws for the lid and the wheels in case you lose any during operation.